All right. I am beyond excited to share the three beliefs that you absolutely need to grow your business, even if you don't believe in yourself. Now, listen, I get it. This is uh, very to the point, but, but here's, here's, you know, the fact of the matter is I work with a lot of women who want to start businesses, who want to grow their business, and they're extremely skilled. They're very talented, whether you're a, you know, photographer, realtor, interior designer, or you're a baker, you're a coach, you're a therapist. Um, the women that I work with want to be able to serve their audience. They want to get paid to be themselves. They want to be of service. They want to do the thing that they love, whatever that is for them, whether it's, you know, they're an interior designer, they're a photographer, they're realtors. But here's the number one thing that stops them. The number one thing that stops them is that they hesitate putting themselves out there and they don't really believe in themselves. And so here's what I want to say about believing in yourself. It's not going to magically happen overnight. You believing in yourself is not going to just one day happen. So if you're watching this and you're waiting for that one day to occur, you're waiting like, okay, I'm going to wait till I have a lot of confidence and then I'm going to put myself out there and then I'm going to start that business. And then I'm going to, you know, invite people to work with me. And then I'm going to charge for my services. You're going to be waiting all day. And I'm saying this and it may sound harsh to a lot of you, but the fact is many of you are watching this right now and you're sitting on talent. You are sitting on skills. You are sitting on experiences in your life that could really be helping other people and could really allow you to fully express who you are and what you love doing because life is too short to not be doing what you love. And if you're watching this and you're like, man, I really wanted to start that business, or maybe you're already in business, but you want to have a bigger impact and you just find that you're holding yourself back because you're waiting for that confidence. You're waiting for that inspiration to kick in. Keep watching because I want to share with you the three beliefs, the three mindset beliefs to grow your business. Okay. That's me, Vasavi. And my goal is to first and foremost, I want you to get clear. My goal is to help you get clear, focused, and become more strategic in your business. Every single woman that I work with is a creative through and through. They have tons of ideas. They know how to make things beautiful. They know how to bring out the best in people. They have years of experience, or maybe they, they just realize that they're really good at something and they want to turn it into an actual business. If you are a creative person and you identify as being a creative person, or you know you have creativity inside of you, but you just don't know where to begin, you need to get clear, you need to get focused, and you need to have a strategy. Because I say this to my clients all the time, if you are creative, but you do not have a system and a structure and a strategy to support that, you're going to feel like a wildfire. And my goal is to really help you come in, get clear, focused, and strategic for you to grow your business without sacrificing your soul and your sanity. And here's what I mean by that. When you first get into business, right, it's very easy to get distracted. <clears throat> you, look, you watch what other people are doing. You're like, should I do this? Should I do that? Maybe I should do this. And so as someone who has had been in business for 10 years, I can tell you everything not to do that I did that, you know, honestly, I sacrificed my soul and my sanity because I was so easily distracted by other people and I lost focus and I was always chasing the next bright, shiny object. And so those years of experience, plus a few other things that I'm going to share with you in this webinar, um, I'm going to share why I'm absolutely the right person to help you get clear, focused and strategic so you can grow your business without sacrificing your soul and your sanity, because that is the most important thing is your mental and emotional, spiritual, physical, and financial sanity. So if you stay until the end, I'm going to just say this up front. I'm giving you a lot of good content here, but at the end, I'm going to show you how you can be, do, and create and have anything you want. And you don't have to do it alone. The number one mistake that I find women making is they think, think that they just have to keep figuring it out by themselves, suffering, struggling. I'm going to show you a very, very simple next step that you can take to work with me, to be supported by other women and to realize that you don't have to do it alone and you don't have to keep Googling the shit out of everything, that there are resources out there for you. And I'm going to show you how what I've created for you is going to be the best structure and support system for you to create exactly what it is that you want without losing your damn mind. So stay until the end. All right. So let's be real. There are a lot of life coaches out there. There are a lot of business gurus out there. There are a lot of mindset coaches out there. There are a lot of 
people out there telling you how to hack things, how to grow your business in 30 days, how to make a million dollars in these many days, just do this, just do that. Do I need a funnel? Do I need a webinar? Do I need an email list? There's a lot of information out there and no shit. That's why it's so overwhelming because you're like, who do I listen to? Now, am I saying that I'm the one that has every single answer for you? Absolutely not. There are a lot of well-qualified people out there to help you. And I'm going to share how I'm different than a lot of the other life coaches, business gurus out there, people telling you that they can help you. And if you, and if you decide that you resonate with my style, and if you choose to resonate with my story, and if you feel like, you know what, I resonate with Vasavi and her approach, maybe I would benefit from working with her. If you even have just an inkling of that, then Stay until the end because I'm going to show exactly how you can do that with me, how we can work together and how you can be supported. Hello, here we be. I'm Vasavi Kumar. So let me just share first all the things that are like on paper, right? Things that people kind of want to know about. They're like, okay, why the fuck should I pay attention to you? Who are you to tell me anything? So hello, I'm Vasavi Kumar. I am a licensed therapist. I graduated from Columbia University. I have my master's in social work and I'm a licensed therapist here in the state of Texas. I'm originally a New Yorker, by the way. Bagels and pizza all day, every day. Well, not really because I found out that I am officially wheat intolerant and that really, really makes me sad. But anyway, I digress. So I'm a licensed therapist. So I do have professional training when it comes to listening to my clients and really understanding what's going on underneath the surface, okay? Um, underneath what's really being stated. I'm also a certified coach and I've been in business for 10 years when it comes to internet marketing and learning how to market myself, position myself, promote myself online, on the internet. And I've been doing that for 10 years. So me saying I've never spent a dime on my marketing, the way that I, I mean, yes, have I run Facebook ads? Absolutely. In the most recent past I have, but up until most recently, I've never spent a dime on my actual marketing. My marketing is me sharing my story, me connecting with my audience, me understanding my audience so much that I can speak their language and um, really allow my the people that I'm trying to reach to connect with me in a very authentic way. And the way that I do that is by teaching from personal experience. I am fully transparent. If you've ever heard any of the interviews that I've done on different podcasts, or if you've even listened to my own podcast, Being Human with Vasavi, you'll know that I just, I'm just me. Um, I've worked very hard and I've gone through a lot of shit in my life that's allowed me to really step into who I really am. And I learn more about myself every single day, but my number one goal is to be fully transparent. I want you to feel like, okay, what you see is what you get with me. Because when I'm fully transparent with you and I'm honest with you about what I think, what I believe, what I've done in business that's worked for me, my own mindset stuff that I've worked through, it allows you to then be open and share what's really going on. Because when you're honest, I can help you, right? If you're not honest, I can't help you. So I, I model what it is that I'm, that I'm really wanting my clients to experience in their own life, which is creative self-expression and full honesty and transparency in your life and in your business. I also use a very customized approach with every client. I do not have a formula. I do not have a step-by-step-by-step. -by -step -by -step. I will say this, there are certain core foundational principles in business that I think that every single business owner needs to have, but I'm always listening for how can you still put yourself out there and be you and not sound like everybody else because we don't need a watered down version of other gurus out there who have 8 million followers. We need you. People are looking for you and not everyone is going to be for you and you're not going to be for everybody. So my job when I work with you on your mindset and in your business is really to help you show up and shine as you. And there are lots of things that get in the way of that. So I'm going to go through the mindset beliefs that you need to have in order to grow your business. So I have done a lot of things, right? I know I, I kind of shared that. Uh, I know I shared a little bit that I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I want to share a lot of the things that I have done right. I've hired excellent coaches and mentors. I've invested a ton over the course of 10 years in my mind and business. I am consistent in my messaging. Now, I want to say this, as I've evolved, my messaging has evolved as well. But at the end of it, at the, at the end of the day, my core message has always been, 
when you know yourself, you can be, do, and create anything you want. So my ultimate mission in life is to help you really understand yourself and what you're all about and putting that out into the world in the form of a business, in the form of a blog, in the form of your podcast, whatever it is that you're trying to create, have it come from the purest and truest expression of who you are. I'm a fast action taker. Now, does, that does not mean impulsive. What that means is, If I know I got to do something, I just do it. I try not to procrastinate, even though even recording this webinar, I've like waited a little bit to record this because I really just kind of wanted to get things uh, organized in my mind and on paper, but I'm a fast action taker. If anytime I've worked with my coaches and mentors and been a part of groups and communities, I've always just taken action because for me, it's really important that I don't sit on my talent. I don't sit on my God-given gifts. Like I have a sense of urgency to really be the truest and purest form of who I am and why I'm here. And that's what I have done right in my life. So I do, um, I, I, am, I, I have my clients really be accountable for what they say they wanna do. If they say want, they wanna do something, I'm like, all right, let's get it done. Also, I believe that everyone has their own process as to how they get things done. So it's not about doing a lot of actions. Okay. It's about being focused and intentional with any action that you take. One of the things that I've done very right is that I ask for help whenever I need it. So I'm a recovered addict and alcoholic. And I share this openly because this is probably the biggest thing in my life that has helped me really step into who I am. Um, I don't preach sobriety for everybody. I don't think you, you know, I don't think that alcohol and drugs is, um, you know, if, if it's, if you don't think it's a problem, it's not a problem. I don't, that's not my, my core message is not to go get sober. You know what I mean? But for me personally, I had to get sober in my own life because it was definitely getting in the way of me being my fullest and best self. Um, <clears throat> so I asked for help whenever I needed. I've been to rehab twice. Um, I'm now, as I record this today, I'm a year and a half sober a little over a year and a half sober. But the point is, no matter what I've needed help with, whether it's in business or with my mindset or with my relationships or my health and fitness, I ask for help because I think life's too short to just sit and wonder and wait and suffer. And it's like, if there is something on my mind that I'm like, I don't know how to do this, I will ask for help or I'll, I'll find some way to figure it out. And so, yes, I definitely have just a shout out Marie Forleo in this, her book, Everything is Figure Outable. I have an everything is figure outable mentality. I truly believe, and I employ this with all my clients, that if you focus on finding a solution, you will find a solution. But if you want to focus on staying stuck in the problem, you will never move forward. So these are some of the things that I have done right. I've also done a lot of things wrong. As you can see, the list is a little bit longer. I've compared myself to other people. I've looked at what other people are doing and I've been like, oh, I'm not as far along as other people. I've looked and gotten distracted and thought there was only one way to do things. And so I really kind of was a little closed-minded a lot in the beginning of my business. I was like, oh, this is the way it needs to be done. Um, I've also tried implementing all my ideas at once. And let me tell you right now, that is a shit show waiting to happen. I've put off doing the little things in my business. And what I mean by that is, and when I even work with my clients, I, I can now spot it because like the, the most beautiful thing that I, I love about the things that I've done wrong is that I've seen what I've done wrong, I've fixed it, and then I'm able to see it in other people, right? So it's like not having systems in my business, not streamlining things, not having a clear set of processes, um, making it difficult for clients to pay me, right? Like giving them old school ways of like, just like a PDF instead of just automating things and using technology, having a clear process by which a client first comes to me to, you know, their experience um, working with me, just like forms, contracts, like having a good office space, like just little things that really help my mindset grow and be clear so that I was free to create whatever I wanted. I didn't have a clear plan of action. I was just like, oh, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. And not having the clarity, the focus, and the strategy. When I was running my business, I didn't really ask myself what I wanted. I was always thinking like, well, what do people want? And what I now know is when you start to really you know, put yourself out there and you create your business from what you want, the right people will come to you. Not everyone is for you and you are not for everybody. So that was one of the things that I did wrong is like, well, what should I write about? What should I talk about? And now it's like, I talk about what I want to talk about and the people who want to hear it will come to me. That's it. Because if you're trying to cater to everyone else, if you're putting everyone else's needs before you, if you are trying to get approval from other people, you can't really, really be yourself. Your number one goal is to be true to you 
right? And when you're not true to you, you hold back from sharing your truth. And that's one of the biggest things that I did was that I was always waiting for approval from other people and wondering, what should I say? Um, is this good enough? Will they like it? Like, I don't like, it's really about just being honest with yourself and just showing up as you. Um, I also didn't have good habits. I didn't have sleep habits. Um, wasn't really exercising and taking care of myself. So one of the things that I really want to say is that when I work with my clients who are starting and growing their businesses, I always ask them what their routines are, what their morning routines are like. How do they spend their day? Are they burning out? Are they just working around the clock? Do they not have any boundaries? Are they working with clients that they don't even really like? I mean, because let's be real, you didn't go into business for you to hate what you do. You went into business because you had this deeper desire to start something that really mattered to you and you wanna work with your ideal clients. My one-on-one -on -one clients, the women in my membership community are women that I would be friends with. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's just a beautiful um, conglomeration of people coming together and you get to work with people that you know, like, and trust and vice versa, right? So I want you to not make the same mistakes as me. And that's why I'm sharing a lot of the things that I have done wrong with you. So as you can see, there's a lot, there's probably plenty more too, but this is just what fits on the screen. So I did discover this the hard way. I definitely discovered that without clarity, focus, and strategy, I was wasting a lot of time. I was wasting money. I was wasting effort. And I was getting highly frustrated that I knew I had a gift. I knew I had a talent. I knew I had skills. I had a very deep desire to help other people. But once again, like I said in the very beginning of this, when you're a creative person and you don't have strategy and you don't have a system, you're all over the place. And then you just feel anxious and scattered. And then you want to give up. So we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to let that happen. I've discovered this the hard way and I want to share what I've learned to help you grow your business with these three mindset beliefs. So the hard way, right? So this is the hard way. And if you're watching this right now, like raise your hand, even though I can't see you, but uh, I, you know, I feel you. The hard way is getting too much feedback from people who haven't got a clue about your situation. Stop going to your friends and families who have never started a business. Stop going to your friends and family who don't really invest in themselves or really spend that time inwards and reflection and, and you know, you know, reflecting on who they are. Stop going to people who don't get your vision. It's not their vision to get, it's your vision to get. And so if you're gonna get feedback, get feedback from someone who sees you, who gets you, who's walked a similar path and who can help you. The hard way is not having a strategy and just being a complete cluster and going all over the place and throwing stuff against the wall. It's so important, even from the very beginning of your business, to have a strategy, right? Like, yes, do I think that you can experiment? Absolutely, like it's a lot of trial and error, but if you want to start off on the right foot, and by right foot, I mean like have a clear plan, work with someone who's been there, work with someone who's clear and focused themselves and who's created things in their business, have a strategy and don't do everything all at once. The best, like if there's anything you can get from this recording presentation that I'm doing is stop doing everything all at once. Focus on one thing, <clears throat> focus on one thing and go deep into that and really hone your skills and really understand what the market wants and really understand what your clients want. Stop trying to do everything all at once. You're in this business, in your business for the long haul. So there is no rush. I would rather have you focus on one thing and like kill it and crush it than try to do everything all at once and half-assing things. Having too many projects you're trying to juggle, like I'm doing this, this, this. Listen, I'll be really upfront with you right now. I got a lot of stuff that I juggle, right? I now also have a team. I have my podcast. I have my membership community. I have my mastermind. I have one-on-one -on -one clients, but I also have a clear system and a foundation by which I've built it. Right? So if I'm trying to do all of that at once with no plan, I'm going to feel all over the place. Right? So I didn't get to this point just out of nowhere. I slowly started building and I've had to learn how to really hone in and be honest with myself and say, what actually fulfills me? Do I want to work with people for a year? Do I want to talk to people every single week? Do I want to like, and there's no right or wrong. It's all about what's right for you. And that's why without a business mindset, it's going to be very hard for you to grow your business, period. Okay. And the other thing that that I had to discover the hard way is that trying to be like everybody else rather than honing in on my own message and my own voice, it was, it just made me feel more watered down. And it just made me feel like I was being an imposter. And so many clients that I work with are like, oh, I feel like an imposter. It's like, yeah, well, because you're trying to sound like everybody else. So that's the hard way. And I want to show you the easy way. And I, let me correct myself. 
it's not necessarily the easy way, but it is the simple way. And it's also the way that a lot of people avoid because they're afraid and it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be afraid. And what I want to show you is that you can be afraid and still take action. And that is the most liberating feeling. So after doing this for one year, so I've been in business for 10 years, but in the past, I would say year and a half almost, um, this is what I discovered, right? And I've discovered this over the course of 10 years, but I also find that consistency was one thing that um, really is missing for a lot of business owners, but here's what I discovered. Okay. The more out there I put myself, the more my business grew. So you have to remember, like I said, I've been in business for 10 years. I had some personal issues that I was going through, but one thing that I was very consistent with was that I always put myself out there. Like I have no hesitation in saying like, I'm in business. This is what I help women with, you know, just really putting yourself out there. If you're waiting for someone to knock on your door and be and like hand you money and say, I want to work with you, you're going to be waiting for a very long time. So the more out there I put myself, the more my business grew. You have to remember and that, that you are the solution to somebody's problem, right? So it's very important that you get very clear on the problem that you solve. The problem that I solve for people is I help them get very clear and focused in their mind so that they can create their business, so they can create their strategy, so that they can grow their audience. But it all starts with business, the business mindset. So I offer the problem that the people that come to me experience is that they're not clear and focused in their mind. So I bring both the mindset strategy and the business strategy together. You are unstoppable. Also getting really clear on the why, the who, the what, and the how is everything. Like, why do you do what you do? Who is it for? What is it that you're offering? And how is it that you're going to get your client from point A to point B? I also learned that when I share what I want to share, rather than what I think people want to hear, Marketing and content creation is actually fun. I have clients in my hit published mastermind right now that are like, I don't know what to put out there. What do I put out there? I'm like, write about what you want to write about, right? Have key pillars in your business that I always ask my, like my hit published mastermind people, the women, what are the things that you can talk about all day? Talk about that. Talk about that. Talk about what you want to talk about because then you're not scrambling for words. You're not scrambling for content. You can just show up and be you and talk. And that's what's going to light you up. And that's what's going to make you feel the most free. And that's what's going to attract the right person to you, the person who resonates with you, right? Um, also, being productive is possible without burning out. I have fun in my life. I make sure that I walk my dog. She's just like laying over there right now. I already walked her this morning. I make sure that I work out. I make sure that I take care of myself. I make sure that I rest because when you are burnt out, your business will hit rock bottom. It will. And I'm saying this from personal experience. Like if you're burnt out and you have no mental and emotional energy to create, you're going to start hating your business. So you can be productive without burning out. And Oh my God, the very little things that you keep putting off are, are going to make a huge difference. So the little things that I mentioned, like in the beginning of this video, right? Like having a clear system, having a process, separating my business email from my personal email. Who would have known that that would have made a huge difference? It's those little, little power leakages that are actually um, sucking your energy dry, to be honest. And it's all com coming together and you're feeling overwhelmed. So it's those little things that you're like, I should probably do that. Those are probably the little things that you need to be doing that, that are going to make a huge difference. And I would say that those ideas, sorry, I spelled ideas wrong. I missed the I. The ideas that I was putting off on the back burner, the stuff that I really wanted to do, like start my podcast, start recording more videos, do more webinars like this. They were actually worth pursuing, writing more, sharing more. Those things that you want to be doing are worth pursuing. And it's so important that you take care of that system and that strategy and that foundation upon which you build everything else. And the last two things that I want to share that if you can walk away with this and really have it hit home for you is that nothing is missing inside of you, right? And that's one thing that I had to discover the hard way is that nothing is missing inside of me. What was missing, if anything, was me not remembering who I was. And that's what I want to help you with is to, I want you to remember who you are at the core. 
because there is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing missing. You have everything you need inside of you. You have that voice inside of you that's waiting to come out. You have that message inside of you. You are so talented. You have your way of doing things. And that is what makes you uniquely you. So I promise you right now that nothing is missing inside of you. It's just about accessing it. And oftentimes we need somebody else to point that out in us because you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created that problem. And lastly, clarity, focus, and strategy is an instant confident booster. You want to feel confident? You want to feel on fire? Get clear, get focused, and have a clear strategy and a plan as to how you're going to move forward every day in your business, grow your business, serve your audience. Okay, obviously, this is like the part where you're like, yes, 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 yes. Do you want to learn the mindset beliefs that it takes to grow your business and get results without losing focus, inspiration, and motivation? I know you're saying yes, so let's keep it moving. So in the past three months, actually, this number has gone up. I probably should have corrected that. But in the past three months, I've made over 20 grand, and I didn't burn out in the process. In fact, I've gotten healthier, calmer, more peaceful, um, more solid within myself and really just like, hello, here I am. Like, you want to work with me? Great. If you don't, you don't. And just feeling really, really um, solid in my messaging and in my voice, whatever I say, I'm just, I just own it and that's it. And there's no like needing to be perfect, needing to be somebody's guru. Like this is me, Vasavi. If you want to work with me, great. If not, keep it moving. There's somebody else. I want you to feel so good about yourself um, and really believe in what you have to offer. And the, the solution is to have clarity focus and strategy and use your creativity um, to express yourself, but you need to have a container in which your creativity lives, right? Because you don't want to be that wildfire. I don't want you to burn out in the process. I'm going to show you the three mindset beliefs. I promise we're getting there. First of all, results are not typical. Growing your business, I'm going to say this, like I'm actually really glad we got to this slide because consistency is so important because if you're, if you're the type of person that stops and starts and stops and starts, you're not going to get the results that you want, period. Like I, I, there's no other way. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit here. It requires consistent effort. It requires accountability. It requires a relentless mindset attitude, which is like, I am going to figure this out. I am going to get this done. Like having that relentlessness fire inside of you, commitment and focus to see actual results in both your life and business. Without this, you're not going to get the results that you want. And if there's anything from here that I really want to say um, has been the number one game changer for me is consistency. 100% consistency. If you're expecting results overnight, you're not going to get those results because that's just not the way life works. And I'm sorry. Like if you really are in this for the long haul, you got to be consistent and be willing to work on these, the space in between your ears for you to really overcome those beliefs that you have, overcome any sort of mindset challenges that you have and keep moving anyway. So here are the three belief, beliefs, okay? I'm going to give them to you up front, and then we're going to go through each one. So the three beliefs. Belief number one that you have to have if you want to grow your business is I can make extra or more money without breaking the bank. Belief number two, I can get paid to be myself and be of service. And at the end, of course, I'm going to show you how I can help you. And belief number three is that I can build my business without burning out. These three mindset beliefs will absolutely help you grow your business. And I'm going to show you the action steps that you can take to start employing those mindset beliefs in your business today. So let's get into belief number one. Belief number one is I can grow my business and I don't have to do it alone. Okay. I actually made a little uh, mistake right there. So belief number one is actually you can grow your business and you don't have to do it alone. You also do, no, don't need to break the bank, right? I do believe you have to invest in yourself and realize that you investing in yourself, money is energy. And when you invest it in yourself, the results will come back tenfold. You're willing to do the, the work, take action and be consistent. You will get the results that you're looking for. So you can, so belief number one, pardon me, is that you can grow your business and you don't have to do it alone. So here are the action steps, right? Like so many women get into business and they're trying to figure it out. I told you this already. Like a lot of women get into business. They're like, I should be able to do this. We as women are conditioned to think that we just have to do everything alone. And that is not true. You are stronger when you are supported by like-minded women, period. You are stronger when you have a place that you can go to, to, to share your shit and be like, I don't know how to do this. And when you're surrounded by women who want to help you. So action steps, join a community, ask for support, learn from someone who has walked a similar path and start learning how to trust your intuition. And so the way you do that, right? I always say this to my clients, I'm gonna give you suggestions on what I think would be best suited 
for you where you're at in your business. But ultimately, you are the shot caller in your life. Like, I, you may be paying me to tell you something or to give you feedback or to give you advice, but ultimately, I always want you to ask yourself and check in with yourself, does this feel good for me? I'm not saying it's going to necessarily feel comfortable because you might be scared and have some fear, but does it feel right for you? And that's what really matters, right? You don't have to do things alone. You also don't need to be codependent with other people. So join a community and I'm going to share a little bit more about that later. Ask for support. If you're watching this right now and you're like, boss, I, and you can call me boss. That's fine. You're like, boss, I really want, I need some help. Can you help me? Like, just ask, like, that's the beautiful thing. The synergy with women is like, we all just want to help each other. Don't you ever, well, like, you know, when you're at the store and someone's like, oh, I really like your shoes or I really like your outfit. I don't know about you, but I'm like, yeah, I got it at Target. It was like $25. That's just the nature of women. We just want to connect with each other, right? We want to help each other out. We'd love to share where we got cool things. That is how women are. It's so we're like, oh, cool. Where'd you get that? Oh, this is where I got it. Like, unless you're not a nice person, but like most women just want to help each other out. So join a community of women who are also growing their business. Join a community of women who are on a similar path and working on their mindset and really looking forward to growing their business, starting that project, really working on dismantling and disassembling those beliefs in their mind that are holding them back and learn from someone who's walked a similar path. I said this from the very beginning. You may or may not resonate with anything that I'm saying. You may or may not like me at all, and that's completely fine. What I'm gonna say is if you're going to start or grow your business, find someone that you really resonate with and be like, you know what? I like her style. I like her vibe. She's direct, honest, or whatever it is that you're looking for, but don't do it alone. And that is belief number one. That is something I had to learn. Um, I have to say from the very beginning, I, I remember when I invested in my first mastermind, this was 10 years ago, I spent $15,000. Okay. And it was for the whole year. And um, I thought it was like, that was the most amount of money I'd ever spent ever. Because up until that point, I was a graduate student at Columbia University. And then I became, I went into a coaching certification program. And then I uh, joined a business mastermind. And it was, it was more money that I'd ever spent on myself ever. I just pulled an eyelash out, by the way, because your girl right here has eyelash extensions. Oh, anyway. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I had the most money I'd ever spent in such a long time and or ever on myself. But I got to tell you, just investing in yourself just puts that fire under you. And you're like, man, I got to keep it moving, right? It's scary to invest that kind of money, any sort of money in yourself if you're not used to it. But what I do want to say is that like, be clear or working with someone who's walked a similar path. And if you're like, man, I really want that, then work with that person. Like there's no shame in admitting that. Don't try to be like that person. There's a lot you can learn from other people. The goal is to learn from other people, but still be you. You can be inspired by other people. You don't necessarily need to imitate them and sound like them. The goal is if you're inspired by someone, learn from them, but make it uniquely yours. And that's where trusting your intuition comes, comes into play. Belief number two, that I can get paid to be myself and be of service. And I promised you at the end, I'm going to show you how I can help you. Listen, you don't need to be anybody else other than you, period. You can get paid to be you and to be of service. When my clients come to work with me, they know that this is who I am. They're not like, that's why consistency of who I am on social media, on my podcast, even here on this webinar, this is who the fuck I am. This is who I am. You like it, great. If you don't like it, there are other people out there. But what I want you to know is that when you can really start to hone in on your unique voice and who you are, you don't need to be anybody else. You don't have to be this perfect person out there for people. Be yourself, whoever that is. You can be yourself and you can still, still help other people solve their problem, whatever that problem is that you are in business of doing and helping other people with. You don't have to be anyone else. You can be you and the goal, and this is where both the mindset and the business strategy comes into play, right? You can be yourself. So the mindset is I can be myself, but you can also be of service and you need that strategy to support your business, right? You are the most important asset in your business, especially if you're a service-based entrepreneur, you're a coach, therapist, interior designer, realtor, photographer, like it's you providing the service. You know, even if you're a podcast host listening to this and you want to start being more real on your podcast, like this is like, people are signing up to work with you that you are an actual human being. So you can get paid to be you and be of service, but people are signing up. Yes, you may have a solution for them, but ultimately people are going to be drawn to you and your personality. So be yourself. And so here are some of the action steps, right? For you to get really clear on 
who you are is to get clear on the problem that you solve. Get really clear. Stop trying to be like everybody else. Get really clear on the problem that you solve. This second point that I'm about to say is probably the most important out of these six points. Develop a solid relationship with yourself. Know who the fuck you are. Know who you are. It is so important that you know at the end of the day when no one's watching, when no one's around you, who you are. And your self-worth does not is not tied into how much money you have, how many clients work with you, how famous you are, how many followers you have. You have to feel good on the inside no matter what. It is so important that you cultivate that relationship with yourself because guess what? Your business is going to go up and down in the beginning and even in the middle. You don't know. I mean, we have, we're in the middle of a pandemic right now. A lot of people's businesses have been suffering and it's really been sucky for a lot of people. You know, it's been awful. But at the end of the day, you got to feel good about yourself on the inside because that's what's going to shine through. And it's really about being real versus being relatable. I can't tell you how many times, and I've shared this throughout this webinar, is that like, Everyone's trying to be relatable and it's like, no, just be yourself. You have to be okay with not being liked. You have to be okay with not being uh, everything for everybody. Not everyone's going to like you. In order for you to be relatable, you're going to have to compromise yourself. You're going to have to dim parts of yourself. You're going to have to stifle some of your words. It's not about being relatable. Not everyone is for you and you are not for everybody, right? It is about being real and being you. Being consistent with your content. Listen, this is one of the biggest mistakes that I've made in my business is that I was all over the place. I was like, oh, I can do this for you and I can do that for you and I can do this for you. And now I'm just really clear. It's like, listen, if you're starting a business and your mindset's getting in the way and you don't know what the fuck you're doing, I can help you with both. I can help you with your mindset. I can also help you with your business strategy because that's where my expertise, li expertise lies. That's what I've personally gone through and that's what I help people with, right? Just being consistent with that content and being a resource for people. Um, stop editing and filtering. Like usually the first thing that you put on paper or say is like probably the most genuine, like just say it. I'm not saying like, don't edit your videos and whatever, but I'm saying like, don't hold back on your words. Like just say what you want to say. Just be as unfiltered as possible. And that's, that approach is not for everybody. It is not for the faint of heart because here's the thing. It's scary when you just say what you want to say because then you worry like, oh my God, did I say it like this? Do people not going to, are, are people not going to like me? You're going to have to learn to be okay with that period. Like if you really want to get paid to be you and be of service, you're going to have to stop editing and filtering. I'm just saying straight out just like be yourself and be okay with the fact that people don't like you. Like I said, it's not for the faint of heart, but this is why having a community of women, someone to support you, someone to cheer you on and let you know, like, Hey, I've been there. You're good. Don't worry about it. That's why that's, that's so important. Um, and once again, do not go to people who have never walked a similar path in your shoes to even um, don't go to them for feedback. It's like, it's just pointless. And you're going to feel very disheartened if you, if you do that. So, and then also strategic storytelling and learn how to share your story. Strategic storytelling is so important. If you want people to connect with you, you're going to have to start sharing parts of yourself with people and literally, really learning to understand who you are, where you come from, what makes you, you, and just really showing up and owning who you are and where and what you've gone through because it is the stories that we have gone through that connect us with one another, right? Don't you ever notice that when like a girlfriend is telling you something and you're like, yeah, I've been there. That's how we connect with each other. You can do the same thing in business. In fact, I highly, highly recommend that to all my clients. It's like, share those parts of yourself with people, especially if you're in the business, helping people overcome certain problems in their life, share that part, part of yourself so that you can show up as the human that you are. Huge, huge, huge. And this is why clarity and focus and strategy are so important. Belief number three is that I can build my business without burning out. I promise you, you can. And as someone who has built her business and severely burned out and now built her business and building her business because we're never done, right? This is not about getting to the finish line. You can build your business without burning out. And let me show you how you can do that. For all my creatives out there, I'm raising my hand right with you, okay? You gotta have a schedule. You do, you gotta have a schedule, you gotta have routines, you gotta have practices to support your creativity and flow. I use the Project Evo Planner right here and I absolutely love it. And I write down my top priorities of the day, my tasks for the day. I make sure that I walk my dog. I make sure that I take breaks. Um, it is it, like, I don't believe in working together for like hours at a time because I get really burnt out. I need to have that structured time where I'm working and then I take a break. So <clears throat> even right now, <clears throat> as I'm recording this webinar, 
my phone's on airplane mode. I've given myself a solid time to time frame to complete this webinar. And it's just allow yourself to do one thing at a time and you don't have to do all of it at once, but it's about being focused. And when you have focused, you have momentum and prioritizing what matters the most to you. It does not have to be that you have a hundred conversations a day, right? It's really connecting with people who have walked a similar path, who are building their businesses just like you, or have already kind of reached a certain level where you want to be at in your business, connecting with those people, connecting with your audience, learning from the people that you want to work with. Like, Hey, what are your biggest challenges? Like really look at people as people and not just dollar signs, right? Like you are, you want to connect and I know this to be true just because of myself and the people that I've worked with and the women that I continue to work with is that they are the happiest when they're connecting, right? When they're connecting with other people, connecting with people in their industry, connecting with their clients and really getting to know what their client needs and how they can help them, right? And I talked about prioritizing, but here's the thing. You got to prioritize your self-care first. Like you can't skip those walks. You can't, you got to skip that jog, that workout, like that has to come first and foremost. You've got to get your mind right before you go ahead and start outputting all this energy and creative flow. It is so important that you have a container by which you are supporting your creativity and your expression. So prioritizing your self-care first. This is something that I did not do very well. And now it is the most important thing in my life. Like if I have back-to-back -back clients, first of all, I don't have back-to-back -back clients anymore. I rarely schedule clients back-to-back. -back. I at least always have a 30-minute buffer in between clients because I need to reset myself. I need to eat. I need to pee. And so we often pride ourselves on being like, oh my God, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. And then you find yourself being burnt out. You don't have to burn out. Like, I need you to hear this loud and clear. Like, you got to get yourself right. You got to feel unshakable and grounded first before you even start helping other people because you are no good to anybody if you don't feel good on the inside. Find systems and technology that streamline your process. Um, it's funny, a lot of the people that I work with, it's not funny, but it's like, they'll be like, well, what do I use for this? What do I use for that? Like technology really trips people up. And if you're one of those people that's like, I'm really bad at technology, stop saying that. First of all, that self-talk is just not very productive at all for you. But there are systems that you can use. There are te technology that you can use that streamline your process. For example, if you're in the business of booking appointments, free consultations with people, stop going back and forth on your DMs and your texts and your emails trying to figure out a right time. Use a calendar scheduler, right? Use an online calendar scheduler. I use Calendly. I use technology for everything to have things be processed like have it be a clear process. You cannot grow your business if you're spending your time going back and forth, back and forth. There are systems and there's tech in place that you can use to streamline certain things in your business. So you're not doing like any of those repetitive tasks that you're doing, you can outsource that or you can use technology. And I highly recommend that because then you won't be burnt out if you just have like, oh, you want to schedule an appointment with me? Boom, here's my link. Keep it simple. If you want to have a client filling out an intake form before they work with you, create a form on Typeform or Google Forms, send it over to them so you don't have to keep doing things over and over again. It's about being streamlined and not repetitive because anything that is repetitive can be duplicated and can be, and can be put into a process so that you're not spending your time and energy doing the same thing over and over again. Guarantee you there's a process for that. There's a, there's a, there's a technology and a system there for you to not have to keep doing things over and over again. That is one very good way to avoid burning out. And lastly, if you don't want to burn out, focus on one project at a time, period. Build a solid foundation because y'all know this, right? If you're watching this, maybe you've done this, maybe not in your business, but in other things in your personal life, right? You're trying to do the laundry. You're trying to do this. You're trying to do that. And while I'm all for multitasking, like, yes, it's like great to be able to do multiple things. Doesn't it make you tired? Like if you're going to do something, just do it, get it done or have it be in process and then move on to the next thing. Like, Stop trying to do all the things and then your energy is just completely scattered. We want to have you hone in, focus your energy on what you got to get done, complete that or have it be in motion and then keep moving forward. So those are the three beliefs. And I want to talk about my client, Alicia Velasquez, that I'm still working with. She's the owner of Teddy V Patisserie and she makes the best chocolate chip cookies. Like 
you can see her holding her cookies. She's right here in Austin, Texas. I absolutely love her. I work with clients from all over the country and the world. Alicia happens to be here in Austin, Texas. She's amazing. I've worked with her now as I record this. We are going on our six month of working together. So she's worked with me for six months now and she's going to be working with me again for the next 90 days um, because we just, she's grown so much in her business and she sees the value. So she's one of my one-on-one -on -one clients. Um, so she scheduled a call with me. She was really honest about how she was feeling all over the place in her life and her business. You can't separate the two. You can't separate the two. You really cannot. I mean, if you're a good compartmentalizer and now you're wondering why one thing is bleeding into another, it's because you can't separate your life and your business. You're one whole human being. So we have to address you as a whole human being. She was, um, she wanted to set really clear goals for every area of her life where she was leaking power. I use the word power leak, which is all the time because those little things in your business that you're not handling are keeping you from really growing, whether it's in your finances, your health and fitness, um, your communication with people, how you choose to show up. Um, when you're not showing up authentically and honestly and taking a hard look at yourself, you're leaking power because you're not standing fully in who you are and you don't feel aligned. And when you don't feel aligned, you feel all over the place. When you feel all over the place, you get burnt out right? You get burnt out and you get exhausted and then you can't run your business the way you want to run your business, right? And she also wanted to set consistent progress towards her goals. I absolutely love working with her. She is probably my most ideal client. I have a few off the top of my head, but she's the one that I really wanted to highlight uh, on this presentation. But she's super honest. We work together. We have calls, um, a few calls a month. And we also talk to each other through Voxer, which is um, a walkie talkie app. So she'll, she'll check in with me every single day and let me know how she's doing. But she's an example of someone who really is honest with herself about where she's at. And she just wants feedback and she wants to keep it moving. That's it. Like she's not trying to stay stuck. She's just like, I'm going through this right now. How do I get over this? What do I need to do? And we, we talk about it, we process it, and she moves on. Some days she needs more time to process, some days she doesn't. But you're, you know, allow yourself to flow. Don't suppress your feelings. Don't you know, um, hold yourself back you know, and really get that support that you need. And, and Lisa is a perfect example of someone who reached out when she just was like, something's not right here. And she really listened to that voice inside of her. And I'm so happy that we work together. So here are some of her results. She feels clear and confident as a business owner and as a woman. She has a sol solid, I said sold, she has a solid strategy as to how she's going to grow her business. She's hired two new team members. Now, this is why this is huge for her because Alicia um, didn't really want to hire people like she did. But I think as women, especially and as business owners, right, our business is our baby. And we don't want to let go of that control. I've recently hired a team and it was the best thing ever. I was like, yes, take over certain, certain things in my business, right? But she's hired two new, two new team members and she is a freaking boss and she is a leader. She's able to have conversations with her team members that maybe feel uncomfortable, but she's willing to do it because she wants to grow her business and she wants to be able to scale her business. She's doubled her revenue from 8,000 to 15,000 in 90 days. Last month she made, I believe she said 16,000 in her business. And that's in 90 days because we cleaned up so many of her power leakages in her business, certain systems, her emails, her clients, how she was running her business. She hired a delivery person to start, you know, delivering her cookies. She has people in the kitchen helping her bake. She's less scattered. She's very focused. She prioritizes her exercise and her self-care. She bought a treadmill and she was kind of hesitant on buying a treadmill. And cause she's like, I don't know if I'm going to follow through with that. I was like, yes, you are. And so it's just like sharing that about herself. Like, you know what? I hesitate and in investing in myself and I don't know. And I encouraged her. I'm like, listen, you're a boss. You got this. And now she's on her treadmill every single day. She gets her best ideas on her treadmill and she implements them. And we, and we talk about it on our calls and she, um, she comes to me with any sort of questions that she has and I hold her hand, but now she doesn't really need a lot of handholding. It's just more of checking in, you know, it's just having that solid sounding board because as you continue to grow and evolve, your business is going to grow and evolve and you need that support. You need that next leveling up support. And that's the role that I have played for her and I continue to play for her. She's paid down all of her credit card debt in 60 days and now she has 10,000 in savings and that is huge for her. And she's doubled her revenue, like I said, from 8,000 to 15,000 in 90 days. Um, I might've put that there by accident, but I think it's worth showing that when you are really focused on getting support, outsourcing, delegating and really focusing on feeling good on the inside, you can produce a lot of shit. And so because she got clear on the inside, because she got focused on the inside and really started taking care of herself 
exercise more, hydrate better, hydrate more, eat better, have better boundaries, be a better communicator, she was able to level up in her business. So it's not about changing things from the outside in. It's about really feeling good from the inside out because when you feel good on the inside, you feel like you have the capacity, you grow your energetic capacity to hold more in your life. If you feel anxious, if you feel scattered, if you feel unclear, the idea of even growing your business is going to feel daunting. So that's why I really work with my clients from the inside out. And Alicia is a perfect example of what that looks like when you start to focus from the inside out on feeling good. So these are some beautiful words shared by my membership community members. I love them. Angelica, Vanessa, Nicole. Um, I'm just going to keep this up here for a little bit. And I want to just go a little bit into what um, I'm about to share with you. I promised you that I was going to share a little bit about how we can work together. I just wanted you to see kind of some of the, some of the things that the women that I work with, what they have to say about um, how we work together and the results that they have in their life. And I think it's just fair to say that every single women that I work with are highly creative. They are in tune with themselves. They have awareness, but they want more awareness of themselves. And, you know, I, I, I said this upfront that like, I believe that you have the answer inside of you and it does really help to work with someone who is highly self-aware themselves and who can be a mirror for you and who is a trained professional, but more than just being a trained professional, a human being who has gone through some shit and has overcome her own stuff. And that's really what life is about, right? It's about learning from one another and being a part of that community and asking for support when you need it. So love Angelica, Vanessa, and Nicole. They are three of the members of my Mind Your Own Business membership community, and I'll share more about that in just a few. So first of all, let me ask you a question, okay? You ready? All right. Would you agree that so far you've learned some stuff, right? It's been time well spent. I've shared some stuff with you, the three mindset beliefs that you really need to grow your business. Would you also agree that, you know, in, in an hour webinar, I, I believe we've been recording this for almost an hour, a little bit over, <clears throat> you can't cover everything, right? You can't. And so would you be open to a special offer that I have so you can get everything that you need to get started on really strengthening your mindset and growing your business? Of course you would. And I want to say this, if you act fast, I'm going to give you a very simple way to get started on growing your mind and business. I told you all this was coming. Listen, there are no secrets with me. I told you upfront that I'm going to share a way for you that is going to be super simple for you to grow your mind and business. Really start doing the things that you got to do from the inside out to feel good and create that meaningful work in your life and in your business. So my membership community, Mind Your Own Business, this is who it's for, okay? If you're a woman who is a service-based entrepreneur, such as a coach, therapist, healer, and now I'm really proud to say we got more service-based entrepreneurs in my membership community. We have photographers, we have realtors, we have interior designers, we have bakers, we have, uh, uh, we have a woman who's in a CBD industry, who owns her own CBD company, Kirsten. We love her so much. Um, a woman who's a leadership coach. So just really, if you are a coach, therapist, healer, service-based entrepreneur, so you provide a service to women and that's to, to your clients and that's how you get paid, right? If you're a service-based entrepreneur, if you identify as that, if you feel called to be of service and you want to get paid to help others, come on now, who doesn't want that? If you love my podcast, Being Human with Vasavi, and you resonate with my style, if you resonate with my content on Instagram, if you are tired of settling in your career and relationships, if you desire a complete up-leveling of your mental, physical, financial, emotional, spiritual life, if you are coachable, this part is so important, if you are open, if you are willing to take feedback, and if you want to be part of a community where you feel like, okay, people get me here. I'm not crazy for feeling the way that I feel. If you need a simple and actionable plan to start or grow your business, and if you're crystal clear that it's time for you to prioritize your dreams and goals and ideas, and if you don't necessarily identify, and this is kind of like, this is something that I just want to say, because a lot of the women that come to me do identify this way, but not all. And um, they're, like whether or not you identify with this, that's fine. But if you don't necessarily identify with being an alcoholic, but you're curious about becoming sober, let's say you're watching this and you're curious about becoming sober and really kind of learning how to deal with life without having to alter the state of your mind. If you know that you are highly creative, but you need a clear strategy and you're like, what do I do with all this creativity? And you need a clear strategy to bring your ideas to life. and most importantly, 
And if you're a woman who vibes with my no BS straight shooter approach, I'm inviting you to join my Mind Your Own Business membership community. So this is what you're going to get as a member, okay? A monthly core values toolkit. I believe that when you know yourself, you can be, do, and have anything you want. How do you know yourself? By knowing your core values, right? And so you get a toolkit every month just to get you going. There are prompts in the community with, for you to journal, video messages for me, intention-focused audio trainings, just stuff to get you thinking throughout the month, every single month as a monthly member. Every month is set up into different themes. Um, for example, in August, we talked about core values and September was all about intuition. October, we talked about creativity. November is going to be about focus. So these are all the key characteristics and traits of being a woman who is fully self-expressed, right? Is really understanding those key components about yourself and really honing in on those character traits for you to step up and be the woman that you were born to be. You also get mindset tune-up coaching. So every single month we have a call. And it, the call is intended to get you unstuck and keep you focused on your personal development and being the very best version of yourself. So this is the community where you have not only mindset tune up, so these are group coaching calls once a month, business breakthrough coaching, which it happens the third Thursday of every month at 2 p.m. Um, so you bring your challenges, get your solution, and you keep it moving. So the mindset tune up call is like, we talk about different topics, different things that are stopping you. You get to answer, ask any of your questions. I host them. I sometimes bring featured experts on like on different topics. So relationships, um, leadership, money, how to budget your business. So all sorts of different featured experts. There's a business call every single month and there's also a community call. So as a member, so you get this toolkit, you also get three calls a month. So you get three opportunities to really come together as a community and ask me anything and learn from other featured experts that I bring on. And then we also have a community circle call, which I absolutely love because you get answers to your biggest dilemmas about relationship, money, addiction, recovery, spirituality, anything that is holding you back, just come and it's your opportunity to ask your questions as a community, keep it moving. And I usually lead those or I'll bring in other experts to talk about various topics, but just know that as a member three times a month, um, there are three different calls. So you can jump on, you're not like, you don't have to join, you don't have to come on the calls, but I'd highly recommend if you're going to invest in yourself, like really take advantage of the resources that you get as a member. And then of course you get your online global community. This is an open community, an open-minded and honest and loving community to serve as your sounding board. I'm there also, obviously, because I started this community. Cheer yourself on, reflect back your greatness and commitment to your highest self. The women that I attract into my circle, into my community and my one-on-one -on -one clients, they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing and they're honest and they want to learn and they're not judgmental and they just want to keep it moving. They want to be their best selves and they're supportive and they're loving and they're kind and they're real. So if you've been part of the communities or maybe you're holding back from being in a community because you're like, everyone's fucking fake. That's not, you're not going to find that here. I don't attract fake people into my life. I really don't. And so I'm just really happy to say this proudly that the women in the community are really amazing and they're honest and they're real. And that's what matters because we don't need any more fake bullshit right? There's so much fake news. There's so much fluff out there. You don't know who's really real, but like what I can assure you, because I know every single member in my community, they are real as fuck. Like they are honest. They are just good human beings. And that's, that's really what I want to highlight. At the end of the day, they are good, loving, kind human beings. And you don't have to do this thing called life and business alone. So as a member, once again, the toolkit You'll get prompts every single month. You'll get questions to get you reflecting um, and opportunities to engage with the other members. And you get three, three group calls a month, right? So you never have to be like, um, when am I, you know, I, I need an answer to this. Just know that you're supported and you have the community and you have me. Plus you're gonna get, okay, this is the best part. I think we spend way too much time on social media. And what I love about this is that when you join Mind Your Own Business, there's an app, like an actual app on your phone and you can connect, you can directly message me, you can directly message your community. If you have a question, there, there are different groups inside the community. We have an accountability group, a relationship group, an entrepreneurial group, money mindset group. You just ask questions right inside of it. Um, you also get current and upcoming workshops that I have just for my MYOB members. These are some of my signature mindset training courses that I've developed over the course of 10 years, anything um, former, like any old content that I've had, but it's all very timeless. And any new content that I put out there, you get first dibs and you get exclusive access as a membership 
as a member of the Mind Your Own Business membership community. So here are just some of the um, courses that you get, right? So if you're a self-study kind of person, this is going to be perfect for you. The Art of Taking Confident Action. Seven Ways to Identify Your Unique Gifts. Simplifying the Decision-Making Process. Dealing with Imposter Syndrome. If you want to start a side hustle, there's content on there. So I've created a lot of self-study content that you can listen to um, on your own. And then there are also live calls every single month, three live calls a month on Mindset Business and then an open forum Q&A. Plus, like I said, monthly expert workshops where I'm bringing in guests that you've heard on my podcast. So I just, I recently um, interviewed this one woman who talks all about budgeting and saving and really creating passive income streams in your business. She's going to be coming in into the community to be teaching the women in the community. So it's pretty cool. Like if you hear someone on my podcast, trust and believe I'm going to be bringing her in the community so she can be teaching you directly as a smaller group. You also have the opportunity to be highlighted as an MYOB member of the month and be interviewed on the Being Human with Vasavi podcast. This is huge as well because um, if you're running a business or if you just want to start you know, putting yourself out there, this is my way of really highlighting you and then having everyone on the podcast learn from you and learn about you and share your stories. Just my way of saying thank you for being in the community and you're amazing. Um, I also really love to give my members the opportunity to be the expert. I believe every single one of my members has a gift and has a talent and are just dying to get out creatively. And so if you want to teach something within the community and hone in on your teaching skills, you absolutely can do that and learn from one another. That's what this is about. I always say this to my members, learn from one another. Like, yes, you join maybe because you were drawn to me and my approach, but there are a lot of smart and savvy women inside the community. And it's really important to foster that community because like I said, we don't have to do this thing called life and business alone. And um, one of the things that I am very clear on is that I don't want to act like I'm not a human being, right? And like I have it all together. Yeah, I have a lot of things that I'm doing right. You know what I mean? But I also give a lot of behind the scenes access as to learn how I've navigated life and business challenges using simple streamlined thought processes that I've developed over the course of 20 years. So if you have a question, I'm going to share how I've navigated it, right? I'm just, I'm, I'm going to let you, I'm going to help you get unstuck and keep moving. And I'm always going to encourage you to use the community because even though there are women in the community from all different walks of life, I really want to say this. The women in the community are from different walks of life, right? But it's really important that I highlight that the the mission is the same, right? To be fully self-expressed, to find their voice, to show up, to be themselves. And so it doesn't matter what somebody looks like. It doesn't matter what they've gone through. What matters is that they hold this core belief that they are here for something more. And that is the unifying thread with every single member in the community. So I want to take a little tour. So I'm now walking you inside the membership community. This is just what you see. This is on desktop, but just know that there's also an app. So as soon as you join um, the membership community, as soon as you join the membership community, you set up your profile and you, there's a lot for you to go through, but I've made it very simple. So first thing that you do is start here and you click on this and I walk you through exactly what you need to do. You start your profile, you introduce yourself. Um, and then I share how you can make the most out of the membership community and you start your reboot challenge. So everything is really, really upfront, right? Monthly calls, courses, groups, one-on-one -on -one support and just a really good way for you to understand how to use the community. So the first thing, so you, like a lot of communities you go in and you just feel kind of lost. I didn't want that. <clears throat> I didn't want that for you. So I made it really clear. We have some simple guidelines here on how to make the, you know, what to say, or just, we have some simple guidelines here on just, you know, what it means to be a member of the community, respect each other, kind of like basic one-on-one -on -one human decency, right? And um, I just want to show you the inside just to see what you get into so it feels familiar. Share ways to make the most out of your community, <clears throat> ask questions, share your wins, attend monthly calls, make connections with members and the self-study courses. And then how to navigate the online courses. I absolutely love this because there is a lot of content in here and I didn't want to overwhelm anybody. So I have different, these are all the different courses. I think I might've added some more as well, but just really helping you understand which course should you take based on where you're at in your life and in your mindset. And then if you're someone that needs a little reboot for your morning routine, this is perfect for you. A lot of the members have gone through this um, and winners of this challenge are typically interviewed on my podcast because I really want 
people to know the importance of your routine and having practices in your life to support you. So <clears throat> this is a 14 day morning reboot challenge. It's really simple, but it's like the little things. Remember I talked about the little things that make a huge difference. This is what I'm talking about. These are the little things that we got to go do like hydrate, nighttime routine, rise early. And so this is a 14 day challenge, keeping it really, really simple <clears throat> for you to kickstart your day, kickstart your day and really start your day right. And it's, it's just, the women in the community love this because it's super simple. It's super simple. It's super simple to really start to feel good from the inside. And if you're like, boss, you have no idea. It's not that simple. That's why we have a community. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. Um, like all these women have gone through it and they absolutely love it. And I'm just so super proud of them because they've, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm very much engaged. I'm just showing you a little bit about what goes on inside. So these are all the women that have kind of gone through. We also have a a morning, uh, a phone free morning challenge. But the point is here, this is the thing, right? You go inside this community, it's really focused on your mindset because I truly believe that when you get your mind right, you can do anything, right? And so I showed you a little bit of that. Here are some of the members. Um, you can see all the different members that are here, who's near you, stuff like that. And then these are the different topics. So every month I add to this, these are based on the current theme. So we talked about core values, developing your intuition, sparking your creativity. And it's just really opportunities for you to share your successes, learn from one another um, and really grow your mindset so you can grow your business, your creative endeavors. So I love this as well. These are all the events. So every single event that's gonna be hosted will be here in the event section um, so you never have to miss. And this is accessible to every single member. You can go to any single one of these, okay? Um, and every single event that you want, like you get to choose what you want. And so there are business calls, there are mindset calls um, and featured experts on here. So you get to choose what you want. And then there are also different groups. So this is my mastermind that I run. This is primarily for the women. This is not, you do not get this as a member. If you are a hit published mastermind member, then this is a private group that we have. Um, let me just take you inside, for example, the accountability group. Every single month, every single week, um, the women kind of share what they're focusing on. And so Mondays are Mindful Mondays, Wednesdays, Wisdom Wednesdays. And so you'll find that there's a lot of conversation going on in here about what we're holding um, what they're holding themselves accountable for. So every single group has um, different events that go on. And it, it, it's like, so every single group, um, there are specific groups that I've created based on the core needs of the women in the group. So some women are going through a breakup and they just need help healing, right? Um, and so this is the relationship group here where if you have a relationship question, whether you're married or you're divorced or you're going through a breakup, this is really where you get to just kind of kind of share what's going on with you. Instead of just, you know, being on social media, scrolling and not getting answers, you literally can put your questions in here and you can actually get answers that you need. And so um, this is just some of the stuff that we talk about, twin flame, fabulous relationships, and just it's a really good place to just get what you need. Um, based on where you're at in your life. We have a money mindset group, entrepreneurial group. There's a book club happening every single month. Um, and, this is, and this is then some of the courses, right? These are all the courses that are on here. There's a lot of information, but guess what? You can put in as much effort as you want and get most out of it. So you're covered here, right? So whether you're wanting to be a better communicator, be a better decision maker, identify your gifts, um, you need to chill out. There's some conversations and meditations that I've recorded for you. Um, if you want to, you know, this is my signature mindset course, source of your success. So let me just take you inside of here. These are all the different modules right? These are all the different modules. These are all self-study courses. Moving past the past, for example, you get a video download, like it's just fully packed for you to feel really good on the inside. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, there's also a one-on-one -on -one option here, um, gaining momentum. So if you do want that one-on-one -on -one support, you can absolutely get that as well as a member. Um, also, I would like to say that, um, whether you are here for mindset or whether you are here for business, you are covered with both. So know that you are fully supported. You may find out that you want to start a business after this. So even if you don't have a business, you are still very much like needed and welcome in this group because the fact is to do anything in life, to have a peaceful, healthy life, you have to get your mind right. So this is a mindset and business 
community. And so now I want to invite you personally to the Mind Your Own Business membership community. If you head on over to vasavikumar.com forward slash membership, <clears throat> if you head on over to vasavikumar.com forward slash membership, this is where you're going to land. You're going to land on a page where you're going to understand a little bit more about the community, a lot more about the community, and you're going to have the option to learn more and really make that decision for yourself whether or not you want to join the community. So I wanted to kind of just show this just so you can see what you're getting into, read more testimonials, a lot of what I've already talked about you. Here are some upcoming, here's our calendar of upcoming themes, topics, and dates. This is really important because I, I like to just be upfront with my members, right? This is what you get when you join the community. So you can really start to plan how you're going to grow your mindset and business and know that you are supported here. So you can go ahead after you head on over to vasavikumar.com forward slash membership, you can go ahead, you can join the membership community for $249.99 per month. What I want to say upfront is that there is no long-term commitment. We do require a 14 day notice if you want to cancel. Um, I will say this, that the cost of the membership community right now um, is literally the cost of less than two therapy sessions a month. And if, if you were to hire me one-on-one, -on -one, it would be a lot more. What I wanna say is this, you deserve to invest in yourself. For $249.99 a month, you get mindset support, you get business support, you get a community of women, you get to learn from other featured experts. And remember, you don't have to do this alone. Now, some of the main things that people say to me, and I just wanna say this upfront that people, people say when joining community, it's like, oh, I should be able to do this by myself. A lot of times what people say is like, I should be able to grow my business on my own. I should be able to figure this out. If you were able to do that, you would have done that. And there's nothing wrong and there's nothing um, less about you if you do receive support. Like I said, at the very upfront, I wouldn't be where I am today right now had I just walked this thing called life alone. So it is so important that you get your booty inside the Mind Your Own Business membership community because whatever you're doing up until this point to start or grow your business hasn't worked. And so if you resonate with me, you like my style, and you know that you're going to get absolutely no BS when working with me. I'm going to tell you like it is. And if you're sick of being manipulated, if you're sick of the fluff, if you're sick of just all the all over the place, and you just want to be given a clear strategy and be focused and feel supported and just be like, listen, life is too fucking short for me to be spinning my wheels. If you know that you are here for a reason and you have a gift inside of you that is dying to come out of you and you don't know where to begin and you know that you are getting in your own way and you need a little bit of accountability and support and guidance and structure and strategy, all the things, then I am talking to you and I'm inviting you to join the Mind Your Own Business membership community. If you have any questions at all, you can go ahead and contact me. If you are ready to go ahead and join the Mind Your Own Business membership community, all you got to do is scroll below, stop watching this webinar and go all the way down below. And there's a button right below this where you can join the membership community today and get you started. You deserve to feel good. You are worth the investment. You are, you, are, you are your most important asset. I see you. I believe in you. And thank you so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you inside the community. Thank you.